What is it about the chickens in particular, though? Well, they're calming. They all have, I know, it seems kind of quirky, but they all have different personalities. Well, Debbie Lesko admits the chickens may be unusual pets for a politician, but they help make her Peoria backyard one of her favorite places to relax. And tonight, she is the candidate we are focusing on in the race for Congressional District 8. The primary election is next week. On our 630 News, Debbie talked about surviving an abusive marriage that she left 25 years ago. She says her busy life is now blessed, happily married and surrounded by family. Between volunteering and holding office, Debbie says her 20 years in politics gives her experience she wants to take to Washington. And I've just learned that through the years is that you need to work with everyone uh, because you're not always going to agree on every single issue, but you have to keep the communication lines open and, and not take it so personally. Chief Investigative Reporter Morgan Lowe covered Debbie Lesko during her time in the state legislature. So Morgan, what stands out to you about her record? She is the ultimate insider. She is somebody who could get things done for business and for corporate and corporate causes, conservative causes. She was elected to both the House and the Senate. She served in leadership positions, which means she was respected by her Republican peers. And she was the Arizona State Chair of the American Legislative Exchange Council, which is a somewhat controversial organization that champions big business and limited government. So why is her relationship to that organization controversial? Well, ALEC, as it's called, didn't used to be controversial, but it sort of veered away from business into pushing laws that were less focused on helping business and more focused on things like reducing immigration and expanding gun rights. ALEC is known to have these closed door gatherings for lawmakers and lobbyists at expensive resorts and restaurants. We went to one of those events with hidden cameras a few years ago. Lesko's role was to organize these get togethers and to get other lawmakers to join ALEC. So we want to talk about a couple big issues here, including gun laws. They are on the minds of basically everyone right now. We know strong feelings on both sides. Where does she stand? She is a strong supporter of the Second Amendment. She has voted to prohibit background checks for private gun sales, and she co-sponsored our law that forces police departments to sell crime guns rather than destroying them. She also supports building a wall at the border with Mexico. All right. Um, Twelve Republican candidates. Where is she expected to finish in this race? She is definitely a front runner, if not the front runner. All right, the Republican woman to watch. She's the only female candidate in that race for, on the Republican side. All right, Morgan, thank you.